Good morning, Periscope. It is Lady Business, and we are live. So please, good morning, Ms. Barita. Good morning, Nevea Beauty. How you guys doing? Invite your followers, please. And please feel free to share on Twitter because we are going to get into a subject. Alana, hey, how are you? Good morning. Um, we're going to get into a subject. Why are you charging too little? Because um, I went to an event and I made a purchase. Small business, black business, woman owned business. Hey there, Moss 1960. Hey, Mocha 76 Capri. Good morning, everybody. Um, invite your followers and don't forget, give me those hearts. Hearts, 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 hearts. Hey, Alana, yay. All right, so um, what we're gonna get into today is sometimes people are charging too little for their services and or, or products. Um, specifically today, we're gonna talk about a person that's charging too little for their products. And I want to illustrate to you why very simply. Um, and this is not necessarily your business, of course, but this is giving you an idea of somebody who is in business. And if they continue to operate this way, they won't be in business that much longer. Hey, Lady Baker 82, good morning. You need this advice. Okay, good. I'm glad. So let me just explain to you um, a couple of things because there may be some new people on. It does seem like it's some new people. Uh, my name is Chisa Penix Brown, and my company, hey there, Island Style, my company is called Lady Business, and what I do is marketing and branding for other companies to help them show up and show out. Bonjour, NC Plus America. Um, and so my biggest thing is looking at consistency, um, making sure that you understand the message and that you target the people, but all of that, the message, the branding, all of that makes no difference. If you can't make money, you can have the best looking business. And that's what a lot of people have. Their businesses look good, but they don't have no money in the bank. She ain't got no money in the bank. She be walking around acting all stank. That's what happens. <laughs> they don't have no money in the bank. They don't have no money in the bank. Now, let me tell you why they don't have money in the bank. Because they're not pricing their services properly. One of the things that I ask my clients, um, the first thing that I always ask them is... What are your top three goals for our session? That's always the first thing. The next thing that I ask is, um, how much do you want to make per hour? Okay. Hey there, Ms. Benita. How much do you want to make per hour? Because that determines what you need to do in order to price your services. Now, a person like me, hey there, Bobby V. Hamilton, a person like me who does a service-oriented business, I know how much I want to make an hour. And so with that being the case, I have to charge accordingly for my time. Um... So it just makes sense that I would charge whatever the price is. If I were doing products, good morning, Handy Girl 74. If I were doing products, then I would need to charge based on how much they actually cost me. Yes, girl, pearls, gold, nuggets, rubies, diamonds. You see, I got my glittery glasses on this morning just so I could give y'all a little shine, a little sparkle, a little something, right? So... I want to illustrate this very simply so that this way you can understand. Um, and I have a couple, well, one example technically because it's one person's business. Now, I want to just stress this. I don't know this young lady personally. Um, and even if I did, I would have told her that I was going to use her business as an example because she would be the type of person that needs to come to my classes. Um, I met this young lady at an event Sasha Woods hosted. Um, her company is Ultimate Earring Junkie, and she had vendors. So this young lady that I'm going to show you um, her products today, she, um, she was one of the vendors, right? So I just want to illustrate this really quickly, two different points. One, when you're paying to vend at these events, you need to take into consideration not just getting your vendor feedback, but all of the stuff that you had to do in order to get there. So this one's not completely just about vending. I just want to give this as an example. This young lady, and look, look at here. I got my calculator out. Let's just hypothetically say she spent $30, right? Let's say she spent $30 for the vending booth. I don't know how much it was, but I'm just going to say it was $30, okay? So that's number one. Let me get my little pen out so we can add this up. All right. Now, when I went to her table, I had already said when I went to this event, I took cash out. I was going to spend a certain amount of money with vendors. I was going to buy something. I budgeted at least $10 to $20 for each vendor. So $30, right? She had at least... 30 of these bags. So now let me show you the bags, right? Now this is the bag. The name of the business is The Girl Spot. So let's notice a couple of things right here. A black bag. 
Whenever you buy bags, when you buy color, and black is a color. Hey there, Carter Evans Services. Whenever you buy bags, you pay per bag. So at most, let's just say she spent like $3 for 30, right? So if it was $3 um, for 30 of them, let's just divide that up. Um, she may have spent maybe maybe like a dollar a bag. Let's just, I don't know. Let's just say it was a dollar a bag because this is a good canvas type bag, okay? Now, she also put on this label on the front, right? This is in color. Color ink costs more than black and white. So now we have a label, a sticky label at that. Sticky labels cost more than if you would have just print something on a piece of paper and tape it on there. Hey, Miss Hill 26, good morning. So now we have a nice black bag, but we also have a color label. Then she went ahead and gave us the little twisty tie things, right? These are usually about a dollar or so. Hey, Lean To. Hey, Inspirations. Thank you for inviting followers. Thank you, Handy Girl 74 and Carter Evans Services. So this twisty tie, let's say that costs a dollar, right? And then let's just estimate that it's like, let's say 50 cents for the color. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the, on the paper. Now let me show you what she did inside of here. I'm gonna go this way first. Inside, she put us a color brochure. Mind you, I know for a fact because I go to Office Depot all the time and I just left Office Depot, right? Hey there, um, I'm guessing it's Z, Zion D, C, over, I don't know, Z, we're going to say that. So these, if you go to the store, cost about 59 to 69 cent a piece. So I'm going to put 69 cent down. However, that's just for the copying on one side. She did it on both sides. So I'm going to add another 69 cents in, right? But this, oh, she spent some money on this paper. If you are an office, I'm just going to say it. If you're an office whore like me, all right? Um, if you're, if you're, I am an Office Depot whore and a Target whore. I'm just going to say it. It's just, just realistic, right? Good morning. Um, oh, so it's Zion DC. Okay, there we go. Um, this is a good stock of paper. This is not your 24 pound. Your regular paper that you use in the, in the printer is probably 24 pound. This has got to be at least a, maybe a 60 pound paper. So let's just say hypothetically that this paper, let's add in another 50 cents for just the paper. Okay. I'm real. I love my stuff. I love an office supply. Now let's get up in here. Now, inside of here, okay, she also printed a VIP pass. Now, this is in color, and this is basically half of a sheet of paper. But to still print this in color is still another 69 cents, plus still good paper. So I'm going to add another 69 cents on just for that, right? Now, let's jump into here. She also has in her business card. I'm going to say... Um, I'm just going to estimate that this is by Vistaprint. And so if that's the case, maybe $10 for $500. So let's just give her $0.25 cent for the business card, okay? Pretty colorful business card. Okay, let's keep going. Now, inside of here, and I didn't even tell you what her business is as far as what she sells. Um, what this says is the girl spot, she does mobile spa parties, okay? So with this, what she was doing at this event was, of course, trying to sell the mobile spa parties, but... Um, at the event, she wanted to physically make some money too. So she, I'm not even going to tell you how much she sold these bags for yet. But she gives you these. Now, any lady and then some gentlemen will know these are the... Um, the flip-flops that they give you when you go to get your pedicure. So basically what she wanted to do was simulate the type of stuff that you would get if you came to one of her spa parties. Okay? These, and mind you, I want you to know I did my research. So hold on. Let me pull this out here so you guys can see. So, hold on. So I looked online just to see how much these things were. And getting them even wholesale, right? Wholesale, 99 cents if you get them wholesale, okay? So with that being the case, let's just say she did buy them wholesale. Now there's one where you get them for 40 cents um, at the cheapest, but I don't even know how much that is or where she actually bought them from. More than likely, she probably paid at least 99 cents for them, okay? Evan Gibson, hey, Paul. Good morning, Evan Gibson. That's my boo right there. He is a singer, honey. International. He don't play games. Okay, so now, that's the things. Then she gave us, look, this cute little thing, which is, um, what is this? Cotton balls, right? So it's like three cotton balls in here wrapped in plastic and wrapped in the same little wrap thing right here. So now cotton balls, you know they about like two, three dollars for the big pack. So let's just estimate she spent another 25 cents on cotton balls. But that's not counting that plastic and that's not counting that little wrap thing. Now let's keep going further. Look what else she done gave us, y'all. She gave me some foot cream, okay? 
the foot cream, but look at the packaging. This is glass. This is glass, okay? Foot cream in here, all right? I'm guessing about a good ounce and the nice little gold top, all right? Hey, girl, how are you today? All right, I'm good. So all of this in here, and it smells wonderful, right? So this is in here. I guarantee you that this costs at least a dollar plus whatever the foot cream is that's in here. So I'm gonna put this dollar down, okay? Now, let's keep going because she still got stuff in here. Look at this. What is this? Y'all know what this is. This is that good Q-tip so that this way you can get around the edges. Now, you know Q-tips can be expensive, especially if you buy the Q-tip brand, right? Hey, Patricia Coleman. All right, I'm not finished. So now, look, she gave us foot scrub. This is that good stuff. Foot scrub. Oh, Lord, it fell out. Okay. <laughs> okay, foot scrub, okay? And this is inside of what? The little plastic thing. These things you buy in bulk, but you spend a good money on this. So I'm just gonna estimate this is about $2, right? Let's put this $2 down, okay? And finally, oh no, not finally, there's still two more things in here. An emery board. Emery boards, you can buy them inexpensively in a dollar store, maybe like 50 or so in a thing, but an emery board. So we're gonna give that, I'm just gonna make that 25 cents, okay? And now finally, now that I've gotten to the end, now, okay, ma'am has given us some nail polish, some Nana Coco. Now, I've never heard of Nana Coco, but I would assume that at the, at the least, she probably paid another dollar for this, right? Hold on, let me get my pen and fill. So with that being the case, I'm just gonna add this up so you guys see how much was spent. All right, so this is why she's not making any money. One dollar. And look, while I'm doing this, adding it up, I want you guys to write down, type it in, type in how much you think she charged me for this bag with all of those things in it. So type it in and I'll, I'll shout it out. I'm gonna see who's the closest. So I'm gonna add this up. Type in how much you think this, this costs, five dollars, okay? Keep going, who else? Fifteen dollars, okay? 0.69 plus 0.69 plus 0.50 plus 0.69. Who else? 8.50. Keep going. Nobody's right yet. 0.25 plus $1. $5. Nope. Plus $2 plus 25 cent plus $1. Okay, $10. The price is right. No, none of y'all are right. So I added this up, right? This just came to, and it may be backwards for you guys, $9.82 at a minimum, free. No, it wasn't free, I did pay for it. $9.85 is what this came up to, $7. None of you are correct, but thank you so much for answering. So I'm gonna go back, look at all of this. I'm gonna throw it back in the bag. We got the bag, we got the color label, we got the sticky stuff, we got the nail polish, let's throw it in, not $1. We got an emery board, throw that in. We got our lotion in our glass container, okay? We got Q-tips, throw that back in there. Cotton ball wrapped up in the plastic to keep it all sanitary. We got our nice little foot scrub, right? A business card, $4, nope. Okay, um, then we got a coupon up in here, $20, nope. Okay, hold up, I'm throwing it all back in here. Cause this, I just want you to see how ridiculous this is. Then we got our big colorful two-sided flyer. Hold on now. And finally, look, then we go up in here and then we have what? We have our, um, our little foot thing. So, who wins? $3 with you signing up. All right. Nevaeh Beauty, you are correct. $3. Dollars, no Patricia, three dollars. And then I noticed NC Plus, you put three dollars with two referrals. No referrals. She charged me three dollars for all of that stuff. How many? Three dollars. The value? No, I know, right? The value? Nine dollars and eighty-five cents is what I'm just adding up. So nine, oh, 82 cents. So minus the three dollars that you charge. $6.82, you made no money. Now, let's not even talk about the fact of that. Hey, boo, let's talk about the fact that you still paid that vendor fee, boo. You paid that vendor fee, plus you made at least 30 of these. 30 of these, it is pretty, but pretty means not a damn thing when you're not making money. It's plenty of pretty stuff out there and people are not getting paid. Pretty don't mean nothing to me. Let me be honest with you. I love, now I mind you, I just wanna rephrase that. I love aesthetically pleasing things, but it also needs to be in budget. It needs to be in budget. So just listen to that. If she charged me $6.82 less than she should have, times 30, 
$204.60. Come on with it. Come on with it. $204.60. And you didn't make any money. And what I'm telling you, when I went to the table, it was near the end of the event. And she still had about 30 bags there. 30 bags. So she did not charge what she should have. Now, the thing is, I didn't know what was in the bag. She just said the bags are $3. She said she did mobile parties. So I said, okay, here you go. Here's $3. I never looked in the bag until it was like a week later when I actually looked in the bag. And I looked in there and I told my husband, did this girl just give me all of this stuff for $3? Okay. She should have just gave it away at these prices. If it don't make dollars, then it don't make sense. I'm telling you, this is what the problem is. If you don't know what your costs are, you will consistently undercharge people. Just did a scope on pricing yesterday. I'm telling you, right? So this is the thing. You can't charge me. Now, mind you, this is what I want you to look at. What you guys said when I said put the prices through to me. You guys said to me $10, $15, $20, right? Right? That's probably what it should have been. And she would have actually made something. But you know what she did? She made a rookie mistake. And I don't know how long this lady has been in business, but she made a rookie mistake. She made the mistake of saying, I don't think people are going to pay more than X, Y, Z for this. But let me tell you why they would have. If she would have displayed the things out there or even given us a list of the stuff. Now, these are two different things, right? How much would I charge for the bag? At least 15 at least 15 at a minimum. I, I wouldn't charge any less than that. Now, the thing is, when we're pricing our stuff, short is not even the thing. She didn't just sell herself short. She just sold herself out. She may as well have been on the corner just giving out the bags. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, if you want to take that and use that as a marketing cost, then that's okay. But let me tell you a couple of things. Number one, um, I really don't think she looked at her costs. Number two, I think what she did was selling herself short. Yes, I'll say that. But she looked at the atmosphere and figured that the people that would be attending wouldn't pay more than that. So she psyched herself out of the price that she should have gotten, right? She was scared. She was afraid that people wouldn't pay her what she's worth. Exactly. So she said, okay, let me look at this particular demographic. I feel like they'll pay $3. Okay. If they'll pay three, they'll pay five. Right? Yes, never judge someone else's pockets. I see my mother keeps jumping in and on there, right? My mother's thing always, she always says, don't tell me how to spend my money. If people want to buy from you, they will buy from you. Because the thing is, based on this particular example, I don't know if she sold one mobile party. I don't know, right? But she only sold a couple of bags. So I guess maybe her thinking could have been, if I sell one mobile party, it will... It will make sense. So now let me see if she has prices in here because I don't even know. Okay, yes. So she has um, one thing. A party is $180 without gift bags. She has another party that's $290. Um, starts at $290 without gift bags. And then she has some prices like if you're doing per person. Now, she is in North Carolina. She is here in Greensboro. Um, I don't know. Yes, don't tell me how to spend my money. So this is the thing. I think maybe she didn't know what she was worth. That's one. I think, too, she thought that if she got one party, then that would be the equivalent of her selling a bunch. But it's still not. Because, like I said, the bigger party was $290. The cost of all of those bags, when I added it up, was a minimum $204. So she would have had to sell one of the big parties at least in order to just get her money back. Because we're just talking about the bags being $204. We're not even talking about the fact of the vending booth, right? Or she thought cheaper would sell faster. Um, what's her name again? Don't be tell asking what's her name again. <laughs> but it was called The Girl Spot. D-A-G-I-R-L-Z-S-P-O-T, right? And her website is thegirlspot.com. Hey, just me, M.M. And hey, Nomad Life. How you doing, Galen? Um, so this is the thing. You have to evaluate how much things really cost. You can't assume that people won't pay stuff. And the best example I could give of this, I know, and that's why I'm going to send her a message, right? I don't know if she's researching. I mean, but at the same time, research still costs money too. So, I mean, she still should have charged at least $5, you know, at the end. Hey, Lady Monica P, um, throw her some business. Um, so, hmm, I'm going to say this. I don't... 
how do I want to phrase it? I don't just throw people business. I need to know that you have a reputable, valuable business. And I have a client that's on this scope right now, Handy Girl um, 74. And Handy Girl 74 does parties like this. So if I were going to throw somebody a business, it would be somebody that's already thrown me some business. Now, Handy Girl is located up where? She's in the Raleigh area. And Handy Girl can come and do a spa party. But Handy Girl has her prices listed out. Handy Girl is never going to sell a bag like this for $3. Handy Girl, when we when she came from Raleigh to Greensboro to meet with me, already had her prices out. She already had a whole bunch of stuff done, and she was already there. See? Mm-hmm. That's why. We don't just throw people business. You, I got to know what you're about. So Handy Girl 74, okay? And it's spelled correctly. Just put it all together. She's on this scope right now. There she goes. Hey, boo. Mm -hmm. Now, Handy Girl 74 essentially does the same type of thing that this young lady is doing, okay? So Handy Girl 74 is who I would recommend for this. Now, let's just say it may not be feasible for her to come to Greensboro all the time, but at the same time, um, I'm going to pick a person that either I've done business with before or that is um, a client. I mean, that, that's just the case because I know a lot of people that do a lot of things, but that doesn't mean that, that, um, that I'm going to recommend them. I mean, and that's just honest. I, I have to see your business and your work ethic, and it has to make sense. And when I see people and their prices are not where they should be, then I'm just like, okay, yes, Janie, I'm telling you because the beginning is where I showed you all the things and priced them out, right? So please watch the replay. So when I talk about this, I really want you to consider how much your stuff costs you. Um, first of all, Zion, don't, don't play. We could come to Memphis. I'm in North Carolina. Tennessee is right next door. I just came through Tennessee in September. I've never been to actually like stay somewhere. So, um, you know, Memphis ain't nothing. We will come there next year. Don't even play. All I need to do is find me a nice little hotel, preferably in Aloft, because that's what I like. Um, <laughs> and um, yes, I can come to Memphis. We can make that a vacation. Don't play. We don't play games out in these streets. So just to recap, this series this month, because last month for November, and isn't it crazy? It's already December, but last month for November, um, we did Positivity Periscope, so it was something positive every day. This month for December, we're doing the Abundant Life Series. I want you to be abundant, but you can't be abundant if you don't know how to charge for your services, okay? You, you can't be, because the thing is, it is a minimum that you need in order to break even. So what I would stress to you is to find out what does it cost for you to just get your money back, okay? What does it cost? Once you figure that out, then start pricing your services, okay? Now, this is the thing with me. I base off of what I want, and I say, okay, how much do I feel like an hour of my time is worth? I feel like in 2015, when I did my sessions, $40 was reasonable. I feel like it's going up to $50 once 2016 gets here. So I feel like if you need these good sessions, you need to go ahead and get it in. In what year? 2015, because they're going up $10. Now, Part of the reason that they're going up $10 is because um, knowledge, experience, um, access, because I have more resources. Every year, you should be able to give yourself a raise. Um, I feel like 10% increase is not too dramatic. I feel like you should have earned an additional 10% each year. Just my personal philosophy. I feel like your clients and the people that recommend you will help other people see the value that you have in there. Thank you. I appreciate that. So just little things. I want to shout out somebody, Darlinda Finch. When I come back home from vacation, I get this, right? And it says fun with graphs, me. It says your awesomeness. And in the middle, it says mind-blowing gratitude. Now, inside of this, she said, thank you for all that you do for making our first food summit a great success. All said and done. Um, she told us the attendees and she said, I appreciate you. You lift my spirits and inspire me. Come on, y'all. This right here, this is why I can raise prices. Okay, but then not only that, she shouted my husband out. Um, she said, thank you for all you do for us in the name of lady business. Now, come on. This is something where people appreciate you. And this is the reason you can raise your prices. Because once you get to a certain point um, and you say, I know how much I'm worth. I always say, don't allow their faces to scare you into changing your prices. Nice. Now, I'm going to give you my example. 
I, I used to vend. That's how I started out. I used to start out selling. So I'm not telling anybody anything that I don't know. I promise you that. If I tell you something, it's either because I have had direct experience with it or I have a client that has. And so then I can speak to those experiences. I never give you some old, oh, it's out in the thing. It's some mythical, you know, business thing. I don't ever do that, right? But when I started Lady Business, I started vending because my mother crochets and my best friend, she makes clothes, right? So my mother, what she would do because she works for the post office. And so that's a full-time job that she plans on retiring from. Okay, can she get a check? Because, you know, I told, well, we used to have this joke, me and my brother that said, when she died, we going to Sizzler. Um, we going Sizzler. We going Sizzler. <laughs> but now the Sizzler's closed. I guess we can go to P.F. Chang's or something. Um, but either way, let's, I digress. Let's get back in. So she would send me to North Carolina from New York her things that she crocheted. She would try to charge less than they were worth. And I told her, Ma, how much, how long did this take you? How much were the materials? My mother still to this day will um, say, I'm not sure about how to price something. So in order for you to, um, to make things as far as crocheted items, you have to have the crochet needles. You also have to have the yarn, which is by skein. So when you see those like bulk, the things that yarn, those are called a skein. How many skeins did it cost you? Did you get it on sale? And even if you didn't get it on sale, how much is it regular price? Because you can't count that you'll get stuff on sale all the time. You can't always count that the wholesale thing will be there for you all the time. What you want to do, especially if you're a product driven person, is buy your items um, on wholesale. Okay, yes, it definitely is a lot of work. So if you can buy your items wholesale, you can get them as low as possible, then you can mark them up. Typically, when you talk about things in the store, um, or even for small businesses, you want to mark up your stuff at least 50%. Especially product driven, right? Plus time and stitch. Exactly. So now you buy the skeins and on average it would take her two skeins to fill up a whole poncho because that's what she was doing. So you got the ponchos, you go ahead, hey there Mo. Um, so you go ahead and you stitch them. Let's say it takes an hour or two. Now, how much is that hour or two worth to you? And what I told her was, now look, you've been working at the post office almost 20 years. So, um, and I've seen her check, so I already know we balling. Um, so you need to see if it's equivalent to what you make at the post office, or do you want less than that? You know, think about it. So for all of you people that are like, I don't know how to price my services. How much do you make now? However much you make now, do you want to at least make that amount? Because are you surviving or are you just sustaining? You're just barely making it. If you're just barely making it on your regular salary now, you should want more than that per hour. But if what you're doing is good and you're happy with it, let's say you make $12 an hour. If you make $12 an hour, hold up, let's add this up. Let me get, that's why I bought the calculator out on y'all today. If you make $12 an hour times 40 hours, right, before taxes, you make $480 a week. So if that's the case, and that's what you want to do with your business, because now this is an equation for people that don't, um, excuse me, that do want to quit their jobs. If you want to quit your job, you need to be at least making 480, okay? But what I need you to consider, people, is there are more things to your job. Does your job give you benefits? Do you have that good health insurance? Do you have that vision? Do you have that dental? If you do. That is a part of your salary that you're not even considering. But let's just base it off of just the small part of the number, okay? So if you do that, this is $12 an hour times 40 hours, and it's $480. Can your business make $480, right? And the thing is, how much are you selling stuff for? I do believe that your business can replace your income if you want it to. But I have... Um, I have some people that are like, I don't want to quit my job, right? So like my mother, she has no intentions of quitting her job because she's going to retire. But she wants to make some money on the side. So what she usually does is like, okay, I want to make 100 I want to make 200 So she'll sell her stuff. My mother's stuff is not cheap. So now let's finish up this example. So she was charging around 40 or $50 for these ponchos at first. And I was like, you are crazy as bad shit, okay? Because it's not enough. So I told her, look, based on what you're telling me and based on what you make, these should be anywhere between $75 to $80. That's it. People are going to look and some people are going to be like, that's too much. But people that care and understand handmade items, you know what they're going to do? They're going to pay for it because they know the value. They also know they're not going to find this anywhere else. So when it's custom made for you, you know nobody else has it. And even if you are making um, essentially the same item, if you're handmade, it's always still going to be something different with it. Similar, but not the same. So this is the thing. I go to an event. It's in Winston-Salem. People who know. Yes, 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 Island Style. So I go to an event. 
and I'm in Winston-Salem. I put up my little booth, and right next to me is another lady with her booth, right? So we're right next to each other. The lady over here is selling crocheted items, but she's using the cheap yarn, the kind of just kind of burns up really quickly, okay? She's using the, ooh, it's $2 yarn. The yarn my mother is using is every bit between $7 to $9, $10 a skein. So you know how you can be saying, okay, the same kind of thing but it's not the same because your products are actually inferior what you're using to make the product is inferior this is basic so if you look at yarn it's the difference in between you saying okay this is um cotton and silk it is the soft stuff oh you know we like it soft yes nc plus america hey h hydration so with that being the case the lady is next to me. Now, her stuff starts off at like $2, and I think her most expensive thing went to $40. My stuff, she's like, oh, the lady looks at me when I'm putting on my stuff. She's like, oh, my God, this is beautiful. Did you make it? And I'm like, no, my mother made it, but I'm out here about to sell this and hustle it up. Because, see, now, let me tell you something else about this course, too. I told my mother the price needed to be a certain price because if I'm selling it, you know what I'm going to need? 20%. We don't play games out in these streets, okay? <laughs> I need my 20%. Everybody that works with me knows if I'm going to sell your stuff, I'm going to need that 20%, okay? And I'm dead serious. My mother knows. My best friend knows. I'm going to need my 20%, which means that you have to raise your price so I can get my 20% out of this particular item. Y'all LOLing, but I'm dead serious. How much? 20%. That's what I'm going to need, okay? They know that. So... That's why her prices had to be a certain in order to include my 20%. So the lady is looking and she's just like, wow. She's just like, this is beautiful. Now, you know what she doing? But it's mom. Oh, see, mama, see, look, when you raise the kids right, the kids know this stuff don't come for free, okay? My child knows that, okay? He know I'm going to need my cut. <laughs> Everybody know I'm going to need my cut. You got to raise these children so that this way they don't think everything is free, right? I tell my son, your job is to go to school, clean your room, um, be nice. Uh, be respectful, and, and, and you can get paid based off of that. But if you can't do those things, you get snow dough, okay? So let's bring it back in. So the lady is touching it, right? She is feeling. She's like, oh, my God. Now let me tell you what she's doing. Honey, she is up here trying to find out what the damn stitch is. She is looking, y'all. She is in the stitch. And you know what she's going to say? I don't know how to do that stitch. Well, ma'am, get back to your booth and keep crocheting. That's what you need to do. Or you know what? How about my mama teach you on a webinar? <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so I, she's like, how much are these? There she go. That's my mom, y'all, when she said business is business. Tell it, mom. There we go. All right. Um, so now we get into it, right? And the lady's like, how much is this? So I told her 75, and then, you know, the longer ones were like 80 or 90, right? So she's like, oh, my God, I don't think you're going to sell out here like this. Mind you, this was my first time at this event. So what I did was I displayed them out beautifully. I had one on. Um, you know, I, I definitely made it look nice and appealing. And what I didn't do, I didn't run up to people. I spoke to them. Um, I told them everything was handmade. And, you know, and that was that. And the people that wanted it, wanted it. I'm watching this lady. People come up to her booth. They looking. It's kind of like they pick it up like, eh, okay, all right. Then they come to my booth like, ooh. Now, Anywhere from two to forty dollars is what this lady was selling her stuff for. Mine started at seventy-five. When I left there, mind you, I didn't sell as much as she did. I didn't sell as much because this was not a quantity thing. But what I did, I sold hella more. That's the difference. So she may have sold like 15, 20 items, and I'm watching people buy, right? But you know what these people are pulling out? They pulling out twenties, they pulling out tens, they give her the money and she got it. But you know what I'm pulling out? I'm pulling out the square. You know why? Because they didn't have enough cash. But you know what they did did? They had that credit card to swipe on through that square. So you worry about that cash, you worried about them little teeny weenies, but honey, I'm swiping through. I'm direct depositing. That's swipe, direct depositing. That's what I was doing because they didn't have enough. And then you have people like, is there an ATM around here? Sure, there's an ATM. Go up the street to such and such. Bring that money back. Can you hold this? I sure can. It is a difference. It is a difference in quality and it is also a difference in quantity. If you want to sell a whole lot, you know what you got to do? You got to have really low prices, okay? The dollar store sells a whole lot. But you want to be the dollar store, you want to be Macy's. Because I'm trying to be Macy's. I'm not worried about selling a whole lot. Quality over quantity. Thank you, Mom. 
Um, I'm not worried about selling a whole lot because if the prices are in a certain range, I can make do with one or two clients. I fired myself years ago. Oh, you Neemans? Oh, my mother liked Neemans too. And she loved Lord and Taylor. Tell them about Lord and Taylor, mom. Um, but I decided to fire myself a long time ago because I wasn't charging enough and I wasn't making what I needed to make. I wasn't because of the fact that I was like, oh, well, I could deal with such and such. I could make this amount. Mm -mm. It wasn't enough. So instead of me trying to deal with individual people, I had to get big contracts. That was the only way that I saw fit. For me to stay in the demographic that I, Bloomies, get out of here, mom. Um, that was the only way that I could stay within the demographic that I wanted to stay with to work with small businesses and still make the money that I needed. So please believe when I get a contract, when I tell you I get a contract, like I told you last night, that Fayetteville Technical Community College contract that we got yesterday. When I tell you I get a contract, a contract is not a couple of dollars. A contract is... Yeah, okay, let's just put it like that. A contract is, let me show you what a contract is. That's what a contract is. <laughs> yes! Okay, but you know what? You got some people that are short-sighted. You got some people that are just worried about getting the quick dollar. That quick dollar goes so quickly. Quickly, it's a quick dollar. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for longevity. I'm looking for longevity. I'm looking for the big thing, the next thing that's going to move me from one area to another. That's what I'm looking for. So I would suggest, please, don't nickel and dime yourself. Don't charge too little for your products because you're not going to make the money that you need to. And then when you're sitting here wondering why you can't do what you need to, it's, it's a problem. One more example before we go. I had one client who I had fixed this with her. She's like, I don't, I can't see why I'm not making uh, money. I, I mean, my prices are good and everything. So I'm like, okay, well, let's see, you know. So on average, let's just say it costs her two dollars and fifty cent per item. Um, she's selling it for ten dollars, so she should have what a seven fifty, right? Ten dollars minus two fifty, yeah, seven fifty. So she should have a seven fifty, you know, um, profit off of each item. But what was she doing? She was letting people get the shipping for free. She must have thought she was Amazon. And I told her, little businesses, oh, reset them prices, girl. Little businesses like ours cannot afford to give people their shipping for free. Shipping costs. So now, she should have been making $7.50 per item. And she would have been good. But let me tell you, minus $5.95 for shipping. So now Baby Boo is watching, oh, excuse me, is making $1.55 per item. But you paid $2.50 for it? Mm-mm. I was like, you need to either um, raise your prices to accommodate for the shipping, or you have to charge shipping. It's one of the two. They're both not going to work. You will never make the money that you need just making a dollar and 55 cents off of each product that you sell. That is crazy. So since then, baby girl has started charging for shipping. She has raised her prices, and we have changed up some of her marketing, and she is doing well. This is only in the course of the last two months. And this is with her having a demographic that is in between 18 to 30. So now, mind you, you know 18 to 20, 21, 22, they don't really have no money. But this is with her having a, a demographic between 18 to 30. And primarily, most of them are under 25. That are her demographic. But she's been able to raise her prices. And I told her, you may lose some customers. It's okay. Because if they don't want to pay an extra dollar, $10, they're not for you anyway. All right. So just think about it. So um, in conclusion, let's jump over here. All right. This Abundant Life series is what we're doing this month. We are going to do it every day in December. Um, and I want you guys to continue to watch because I am going to talk about something that can increase your finances every day. All right. Um, Ladybusiness.com. We are reworking the website. So if you go there, it's like eh, right now. It's going to be reworked soon. So you will have a relaunch in 2016. But if you feel like you want to go there, you can go there because at least you can send me a message. 
but I promise you it's going to be some old, some old new nice stuff for 2016. So we're working on that now. Um, if you do want a one-on session, last night what I did was I extended because you do see 11:30 was when this was supposed to end for the one-on-one -on -one sessions, but I extended them until this Friday. So if you go to pmsessions.eventbrite.com, the sessions are going to be $25 for 30 minutes. These will all be via um, Google Hangout. We could do it on Skype or we can just talk on the phone, either one, but these will not be face to faces. Uh, but feel free. These power marketing sessions are great, and I tailor everything to each individual person. So this is not just some cookie cutter, oh, everybody should do this. No, what is your business need? That's what we do with these sessions. Um, and this is the lowest price that they've ever been and will ever be, just FYI. Um, if you want to watch the replay, feel free. And all my replay viewers, please give me hearts. I love you too. So watch the replays at catch.me forward slash lady business. You see that little dog? He's so cute. Um, but watch the replay because it is a lot of jewels. And this month, I really want you to get and think about that abundant life and get ready for 2016. So there is some people that's not going to be able to go with you in 2016. Just know that. Feel free to subscribe to the Facebook page. Um, and that is FB or Facebook.com forward slash Lady Business Inc. If you subscribe, you'll see all of the events that are there, um, even virtual events. And so what I will be doing um, this week is going ahead and putting up my new classes because I do have my schedule for most of 2016. And so I'll be putting those up because we have some new areas that we'll be jumping into. Feel free, if you love this scope, if you've been a client, feel free to recommend me on LinkedIn um, and go underneath Lady Business because you'll see it's uh, listed out based on, based on the job that you list. So put it underneath Lady Business. If you're up, I spelled that wrong, sorry. That's what happens when you type in too fast. Let's go down here so you don't see the misspell. it. Um, this Wednesday, which is tomorrow, join me for Connect and Score. That is going to be at the Nussbaum Center for Entrepreneurship. It is free. I will be giving you breakfast. So if you like to eat like I do, then um, yeah, they are dropping off right now. No waiting for 2016. Cleanup has started already. You better do that, girl. Clean it up, right? So if you're coming out tomorrow, what I am offering too, for everybody that pre-registers online and attends the event, is I'm going to give out one free 30 minute um, power marketing session. So somebody that comes tomorrow and registers online in advance will get a free session. Um, the FitBiz Expo is this Friday. So please come on out because um, gain money, lose weight is one of my mantras for 2016. And that's what I want you to do. Gain money and lose weight. But I need you to understand about the weight that holds you down. So we'll be talking about that tomorrow, the weight that holds you down. Gain money and lose weight. That is going to be tomorrow's Periscope. FitBiz Expo is free for people to come out to. I want you to enjoy um, the idea of getting fit and then find somebody that you know can help you get fit. We are going to have a free Zumba, free Soka Motion, free um, nutritional session. Um, I do have uh, holistic nursing coming out, so they'll be talking to you about um, uh, natural medicines as opposed to taking all of these drugs. Yes, soak emotion. Yes, my girl Shawnee Foster, um, Trinity Tutu Queen. If you look at her on. Um, on Instagram, yes. Um, so all of that will be out there, and this is at the Inspire to Dream Center. Also, with this event, if you need a facility to rent, we are renting out this facility. So, Trini says it all, I know that's right. So if you need, um, daughter are watching this with me, they are giving you all of our, you better give me those hearts, babies. Yes, babies, give me them hearts. Um, so if you are looking for a facility to rent in 2016, we will be renting this facility out. This facility is 2,500 square feet. If you need office space, we have space in there that you can rent out also. With Wi-Fi, with the desk and everything, chair, all of that stuff already in there and you can move in. Very secluded location, but you can run your business. We have a boardroom in there, so, um, um, if you want to come out to the FitBiz Expo just to meet some people, mix and mingle, network, it is free. Um, I know we'll have free drinks, free food, everything, because, you know, we want the community to get a little bit fit and gain money and lose weight. Um, again, the power marketing sessions. How did that get on there twice? I don't know. All right. They're extended till Friday. So if you do want a power marketing session, it's pmsessions.eventbrite.com. Is it in Greensboro? Yes, it's in Greensboro. Let me go back up. The address is 7610 Canoe Road. So if you're in Greensboro, if you take Market Street all the way up toward the airport, which means you're taking West Market, take it up toward the airport, you'll make a right-hand turn on Regional Road. You'll go back up in there and you'll see the GTCC Aviation Center and it's right 
right next door. So just FYI, this is not like in downtown, it's the exact opposite way, West Market Street. You're more than welcome. And if you know anybody that has a nonprofit, I am going to be doing Marketing Made Easy for Nonprofits. It's a hands-on workshop. It will be Thursday, December 17th. And people will also be getting lunch. $25 is the early bird. So feel free to let people know if you do know a nonprofit that does need to build a custom marketing plan for 2016. All right? Um, I think that's it. I think that's all my goodies that I have for you. Yes. So... Oh, somebody just ordered a ticket for the Fitbits Expo. I don't know who that is, but I saw that come through. Nonprofit over here. Well, girl, I'm telling you, come out. And I know, I think you're in like the Raleigh or Durham area. I promise you it's gonna be um it's gonna be worth it. And I try to keep the price reasonable at $25. Now mind you, I'm gonna do this for $25 and give you lunch. Come on with it. Come on with it. These are 2015 prices. Um so, yes, would love to shout you out on my next call. You better shout me out. Yes, I would love that. I would definitely love that. Feel free to do that. Feel free. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this scope today. I said for December, I need to motivate you. Can you do a scope on having a nonprofit versus a business? I sure can. But let me just tell you something really quickly. A nonprofit is a business. Okay, a nonprofit is just the status, but we can talk about some of the differences. That is for sure. I'll definitely add that in a nonprofit versus um, a for profit business. Okay, nonprofit versus for profit. But tomorrow, we are going to talk about gain money, lose weight. You may also see two scopes tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to be doing um, Connect and Score, and I may have somebody go ahead and record part of that just so that this way you can see me teaching live. Um, so, you know, you may see two scopes tomorrow, but just know that um, that we are coming with this abundant life. And the only way for you to have abundant life is to realize what you need to let go of and to realize what you need to hold on to, all right? So with that being said, you guys are beautiful. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for participating. Thank you for the hearts. Hey, babies, hearts. Um, and thanks, mom. Thanks for chiming in because you should be on your way to work right now. <laughs> <laughs> she should be. But just remember, don't price yourself out. Do not price yourself out. Thank you so much, Island Style. So tomorrow, we are talking about gain money and lose weight. Ooh. Okay. Have a great day. Make sure that you show up and show out. And always give it to the people.